Footprints are interesting, right? They always have something to tell us or always reveal something we have never known before. Well, here is another one. Scientists say that a uniquely preserved prehistoric mud hole could hold the oldest ever human footprints on the Arabian Peninsula. With the footprints dating back all the way to 112,000 years, we can say that during that time, a few humans wandered along the shore of an ancient lake in what is now the Nefud Desert in Saudi Arabia and left us their mark. Why they were there is a question that will remain unanswered. They may have paused for a drink of fresh water or to track herds of elephants, wild asses and camels that were trampling the mudflats. Within hours of passing through though, the humans and animal footprints dried out and eventually fossilized. Researchers say that at a glance, these marks don't seem particularly impressive, so much so that a team of scientists surveying the region almost passed them by in 2017. But upon further examination, the team realized that the depressions were left by an array of ancient animals and among them were traces of our own species, Homo sapiens. The footprints lie near another lake where the team recently uncovered a finger bone dating to some 90,000 years ago that may also be Homo sapiens. These ancient footsteps offer rare evidence of when and where early humans once inhabited the Arabian Peninsula. Archaeologist and team leader Michael Petragalia of the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History stated that these are the first genuine human footprints of Arabia and the discovery of these human footprints, if confirmed, would mark the oldest trace of our species yet found in the Arabian Peninsula which sits at the gateway to early humans spread around the world. Of the 400 tracks discovered in the Nefud, dubbed Alathar, meaning the trace in Arabic, only seven were confidently identified as human footprints. By comparing the size and shape of these tracks with those made by modern humans and Neanderthals, the researchers conclude the tracks were likely made by people with longer feet, taller stature and smaller mass, Homo sapiens rather than Neanderthals, as reported in Science Advances. The team can't entirely exclude Neanderthals though, says paleoanthropologist Marta Marazonlar of the University of Cambridge because the fossil record is so spotty in Arabia. But if the dating proves correct, such an attribution is unlikely as the sediments just above and below the impressions date to a period called the last interglacial when the climate in the region was relatively warm and wet. These Homo sapiens could be the last ones on their way through a temperate place as an impending ice age descends. That would also explain why their tracks weren't tracked over by another group, at least not before an entire fresh layer of sediment accumulated. As the usual story goes, these ancient explorers likely crossed out of northeastern Africa over the present-day Sinai Peninsula, spreading into the Levant, the region just north of Arabia that includes Israel, Syria, Lebanon, Jordan and the Palestinian territories before migrating into Europe and Asia. But some suggest early humans instead crossed near the Horn of Africa to the southern Arabian Peninsula, spreading around the Indian Ocean Rim. Though the peninsula is now home to arid deserts, it was likely greener and wetter at the time the footprints were cast, boasting a climate similar to that of the African savanna. Usually, animal and human fossils found in the same fossil bed were buried hundreds if not thousands of years apart and never laid eyes on each other. Paleoanthropologist Kevin Hatala of Chatham University in Pittsburgh, an expert on ancient footprints, say that these footprints give us a unique snapshot of the humans living in this area at the same time as the animals. The location of the discovery also strengthens the idea that some early Homo sapiens followed animal herds from the Sahara across the Sinai Peninsula and into Arabia rather than taking a coastal route beside the Mediterranean or a southern land bridge between Africa and Arabia. This story, like any other, unfortunately remains incomplete, but hopefully new discoveries and finds will complete it for us. 
Thanks for watching guys and do drop in your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hope you enjoyed the video and please continue to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.